Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you for another um, messages from your deceased loved ones. And of course, I don't know who's going to come forth. They only helped me pick the cards. And please remember that I do not need the cards, but I find it a fun way to have that person come through and express the things that they want to express to you. So, of course, I don't, like I said, I don't know who's going to come through. So I have four cards. So I would suggest going to the um, description box or the comment box and pick which one resonates with you by description of what I put in there or the timestamp. All right, so let's get started with number one. So this one, this person, I feel a lot of excitement. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, I am going to take down the timestamp. All right. So we have got get more information, communication, home, and in these, I do not do reversals. Some people are making comments about reversals in um, this particular kind of reading. And like I said, I don't need the cards. I find them fun. But they are not necessary. So we've got Quiet Time, the Seven of Wands, the Three of Swords, Hope Card, Unfinished Symphony, I have become one of your guides. There is no such thing as death. Open your heart. Let me move these up so you can see them here. Open your heart. I guess I took a lot more cards than I thought I did. So here is a success. Prioritize. Beauty. Surrender to what is and the king of water. All right. Yeah, this person is very excited. Very excited. They're like jumping up and down with excitement. They're like, I did it. I did it. I did it. Um, this is a young man who's like presenting himself around 16, 17 years old. He said he's so excited that he got you to come here and he was so excited that it was finally his turn to do this. Cause like I said, I've, I've done 16 of these. This is the 16th one. And what I interpret is they wait in line for their turn. If they want to communicate with their loved ones through this Avenue. And of course I do do personal readings. So if you would like to reach out to me, um, the information is down below. He's pointing this one out to me. Success. He's very happy that he was able to get here. He was very happy when he passed over because he's saying, and it kind of mirrors this card. If you can see it, it's like the colors are amazing. He said the spirits there are amazing, that he's learning so much. He says it's insane how much he's learning. And with this card here, he's like, I can't seem to get enough if I can grab it. So like, get more information. He's like, I just, I can't seem to get enough information. There's so much information there. And he's also saying that you felt you should have got more information about what was wrong with him. What was... Like, I, I don't think an autopsy was performed. <laughs> and I'm hearing him say, trust me, mom, it was drugs. It was like he was a good kid and he never, he never did that sort of thing. So when this happened, it was like a shock. 
but there was so much surrounding it that, you know, for you it was hard to believe. And it, just, it was just kind of a mental mind, you know. Um, oh, he's saying that it wasn't illegal drugs that did this. It was something that was administered at the hospital. He wants you to know that there is no such thing as death because he's like, here I am, I'm talking to you. You know, I'm getting the, the communication through, you know, through in whatever means he could figure out to, to do it. So he says, there is no death. He's saying it's like, <laughs> what I'm hearing him say is it's like a big party on the other side. Now, he was a real good kid in life. Real good. Like you were just tickled pink that he was your son. You know, and with this card, it says the king of water, which is the king of cups. It says trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work. He says a part of this was him where you just, you thought so much of him that he was trustworthy, that he was a compassionate child, a passionate young man. He was respected amongst his friends and people he communicated with. Um, I feel that he was active in his church. And he says he wants you to surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you cannot change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. And he does want you to have peace. He says he knows that this was very difficult for you. And that you've lost a sense of hope that you don't feel like there's there's hope anymore. But he, he wants to let you know that this is not an, un, an unfinished symphony. Uh, if I can grab it. That he, he's learning, he's growing, he's moving on, he comes to visit you. He's even tried um, visiting you in your dreams, but you won't let him in, like you're too heartbroken. So, and because of that, he wants you to open your heart. He wants you to open your heart to healing so you can communicate with him in your dreams. And with this Archangel Metatron, it says, focus on your highest priorities. You will, I will help you get organized and motivated. He's saying that since his passing, what I'm getting is like a year and a half, almost two years, something like that, that you have been, you just stopped doing things. Like your purpose in life seemed to just diminish. Like you were stuck in the sorrow, in the pain, and it's interesting, I just noticed here that there is two swans. This one's open your heart, and this one is swan beauty. Maybe you guys had an affinity, or one of you had affinity for swans. But it's, you know, when two things come out like that or more, I, you know, I always have to point that out because it's, it's definitely a message. Yeah, he desperately wants to communicate with you more. He says you're perfectly able to do it. You just have to open your heart. Because he says he realizes that with his passing, with this three of swords here, you just... You just kind of lost your lust for life. 
you know, with this, oops, sorry. Um, cars are super hard to pick up. See, it's like the fish are dead. The frogs are lamenting, they're crying, it's raining. All seems to be lost. He's like, I understand how, how difficult this is that he's gone and that you're kind of being defensive. You're like, you're not letting anybody else in. Like you've turned it into this crusty old di dinosaur. <laughs> That's what I heard him say. And he said he loved dinosaurs when he was a kid. And so that's why he thinks it's funny. But you're just like, you're, def you're, defense you're defensive about everything. And you know, with this loss, loss of um, life that you have within you, it's, it's dragging you down. He's like, it doesn't need to happen. Like, he's like, you've even let the home go. And this one says here, it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So, and maybe that could be a state of mind where you're going to change your attitude about the situation, you know, letting him, you know, knowing that he's well and fine and that he's growing and learning and expanding and he wants you to do the same thing. And he wants you to take some quiet time. Like he wants, he thinks it would be good for you to, he said like something that you used to go away and get quiet time or you go with your girlfriends, you know, go with your friends and get quiet time or, you know, camping. That's what I'm hearing. Like maybe you're just, yeah, you just stopped doing all the things that you loved. And he's saying that he's become one of your guides. And he's going to keep pestering you until you move into a better phase and after. Because he's definitely reaching out to you. He says he loves you so much and he's so excited that um, you got to be his mom and that he got to be your son. He feels honored and privileged. And he said, don't worry, mom, everything you've taught me, I have kept in my heart. And he bids you adieu. Thank you for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, leave me any comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're going to start number two. All right. We have not the right time, expression, bold, the Fool. In these readings, I do not do reversals because I do read the energy of the spirit that's coming through these cards. Just help me and them to focus. And I find it fun and I think they do too. So let me see what energy is here. Hmm. It's interesting, my um, first impressions was a woman's energy and there's this Frey energy here with the long hair and then here's another one with a woman with long hair. So this is a, um,
Sorry, I'm just listening. She says she was 26 or 27. That's what I'm gathering. She says that um, she died of a suicide. That she was mentally unstable. She had some kind of brain chemistry situation happening. And she's saying that there's no way that anybody could have saved her or changed her. That this was the crash course that she was on. This was something that her soul wanted to experience. And she's pointing me to this one. You know, and maybe she identified as a, um, like a gypsy girl, a transient girl. I mean, you know, possibly living on the streets. And I could have... She's saying something about the butterfly, because there's these butterflies here. She's like, people, her nickname on the streets or something was called Butterfly. She's like, don't think for a minute that you should be ashamed of not trying to help her more. She's reiterating, there's no way you could have helped her. And she also wants you to know that who she is at the soul level, because, you know, this one here says, if you can read it, it says, the soul butterfly. She has released all of this, the toxic stuff that she was experiencing in the life that she led last. She said she was like just this fiery, passionate person who would just go off in these weird tangents and do strange things and half the time, you know, she had tons of friends, but it was like she was a higher vibrational soul that was playing in a very dark, um, dense energy. She would attract in people because I think um, with the brain chemistry issue, she was also doing lots of intoxicants. You know, she said that she did live her life very boldly. There's this card here, Freya. It says, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. And that's what she did. She led her, her life by her rules. She didn't want to hear what anybody else had to say because it really didn't matter to her. You know, with this fool car, she's saying she's, she's had a new start. She wants you to have a new start. She wants you to let go of this regret and this deep sorrow of I could have, could have, should have, you know, done more for her. But she knows that you know the truth. You couldn't have done anything. And she's pointing me to this one, which is the unicorn. It says, as a soul, I can be in several places at once. And with her energy, how bold and daring she is, and how she is an advanced soul, but you wouldn't have known it in this life, right? That she has the capability of being in several places at once. So, you know, you might go, oh, she's gone, but she's, she's right here. You know, you think she's gone, but you might hear things in your room. She says she likes to play with the lights. She's saying something about that you recently took a vacation or you're thinking about taking a vacation and she wants you to do it. Saying something about, I'll have a margarita with you. She doesn't want you to be afraid anymore of where you think she might have gone because of the way she lived her life, because she had no remorse not a care for other people. It was about her, her, her. That don't be scared that she went into a dark place in the afterlife because she's definitely not. 
she's like, I still have a lot of growing to do and a lot of learning, but she's showing me this card. It says potential gateway. Like, look at the abundance on this thing. She's like, my experience now is so full of abundance, so full of love. I mean, it's interesting because maybe she was really into unicorns because there's a unicorn here. And then I don't know if you can see it, but there's little unicorns here too. She wants you to ask your angels and she's like, I am one of your angels. So why don't you ask me? Why don't you ask me the questions that you want to ask me now that I'm not in the physical anymore? And she's saying something about this picture is really going to spark somebody, really help them heal. She says she has so much love to give and she feels bad that, you know, in this, in this life that she had with you, that she, that she couldn't reach out more, that she couldn't be more. It just wasn't what she was in that, in this life, period. She wants you to have all the prosperity in the world because she's saying that she financially tried to drain you. You know, whether this is a friend of hers watching or parents or a sister or brother or whatever it is, she was like, I want you to have all the prosperity in the world because she would have sucked you dry. Financially, she would have sucked you dry. It's the surrender to your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. And that's what she's learning. She says she didn't have that capacity in this life. But she says, trust me when I say that, you know, she has that just not in you know, the past, the life she had. This one is the 10 of pentacles or the 10 of earth. This is a very happy family life financial security, finding magic, and the little things of life. Because there was that part of her, you know, this kind of gypsy part of her, that, um, that free spirit, you know, that, that unicorn energy, that fairy energy that, you know, people did enjoy, that they, that, that she, how she would attract people. And that's how she had so many friends. And she's saying again about the finances with this. She's like, I want you to create a happy life for yourself. And it can be abundant. And then there's one, this one here that says, spread your wings. The Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So she's talking about some project you're thinking about doing. She wants you to know that she watches you all the time. She's very much your guide and she very, she very much has the intention of helping you to express yourself because she was very good at expressing herself. She was a performer. She would perform a lot, not necessarily for an audience, but for, for anyone she was around. And this expression is a part of, she wants you to, to in remembrance for her, express yourself more but do it in a positive way. And she's, she's talking about how, you know, you're sad that she's gone, but she's like, it, it's not the right time for her to be here. So that's why she did leave. She says she loves you immensely. She wants you to know, like I said, that she's with you that she watches you and that she is so glad, proud and privileged. She said that you found this because, you know, she might've been on the more like hippie gypsy side, you know, tarot cards, tarot cards, things like that, but you weren't. And so she applauds you for finding this in memory of her. And she wants to point out that she's not just a memory. All right. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that was very helpful. Um, she was very interesting to speak with. So once again, 
Thank you for joining me and please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, we're gonna move on to number three. It says no. Intuition. Be strong. And I don't do reversals here because I read the energy. Got the Hermit, the Knight of Cups, Inner Power, Soulmates, Confidence, Seek Beauty, I Am Not Dead, if I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived life differently. Let me move that over there so you can see it. This one says, be assertive. Hello from heaven. I think this one had extra cards. Learning, sacred ibis. Surrender to the natural beauty of the world or the natural world. Let's see, is everything in shot? No. Let's see. Yeah, this one definitely had an extra card. All right. I'm just tuning into the energy here. So this is, he's presenting himself as an elderly man. And he's like, hey now, I'm not that old. And of course I'm like, in spirit, no one's old. And he says, true. Um, Let me see. He says you have a question and he's telling you that it's a no. I, I think the question was like, did you know, did you love another? Do you, in this life, would you wish you were with someone else? And he said, no. He's like, I want you, I want you to be strong with this card here. Segment says you are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. He says that since he's passed, you've kind of become a hermit. You've kind of gone into your own shell here. And you're not really letting people know how deeply sad and depressed you are. And he wants you to let other people in and let them offer you love. It's interesting because a part of this conversation that he's having is with what I'm assuming is his wife. And then when it switches to this card, then it switches to daughter energy. So he's got multiple messages for people. And this is a penguin here. It might have something to do with... Um, you know, like, you liked penguins, he liked penguins. And this is the message for the daughter and his wife or girlfriend or whomever it is. It says he wants you to find your inner power on this. You know, especially for the one who's very sad and hasn't been open and letting people really um, in. He wants you to find that inner peace, that inner power, so you can go to people and let them offer you their cup of love. Because he's telling me, like, this is for his wife and this is for his daughter. He's like, they're not even communicating with each other over the sorrow of my passing. I think the daughter has tried, but the mother is just climbing, clamming up. And he's saying, come on, ladies, I'm not dead. <laughs> he's like, I'm not dead. I'm right here. 
he, he's telling me he's because a lot of the, the most of the other people that I have channeled um, this evening and with all the other ones, they um, generally already have an idea if they're going to be able to get their person or people who they want to get a message to to come find this. He's a little unsure because he's telling me because in my mind how I organize these is um, I allow you know four spirits at a time or if I'm only going to do three pick of cards it would be three people yada yada so he's and the people have to wait in line and he said that he butted in line and he wasn't quite ready and or he like negotiated with someone who was supposed to be a part of this batch of um, messages so he was a little unprepared very hilarious but he said he can be very assertive and he can um, really talk a good talk when he needs to <laughs> he's a charmer <laughs> this one says if I had only known what I know now I would have lived differently and he's saying he didn't really think that he um, lived poorly but he said oh he said that he would have if I can get a hold of it he would have used his intuition more he would have believed in his intuition more because he's saying upon his um, life review that he had some untapped psychic skills that he chose not to use. And now he's switching gears and he wants to talk about his wife. He's like, honey, we're, we are soulmates. And that's why you feel my physical parting so deeply. Cause I don't know if you can, oh my gosh, I just realized that. So two penguins and here's the third penguin. I remember I just mentioned it before. What? So obviously and here's another bird here. Maybe you guys are a bird. Oh, another bird here. What's going on here? So what do we got? We got bird, bird. Mm, I think those are like butterflies there. But bird, yeah, you got some birds going on. Anyway, back to the message. So somebody really likes those penguins. So he's saying, you know, to the wife, you know, we're soulmates and I understand why you're having such a hard time, but you need to go out into nature. You need to open your heart again. And now he's getting emotional. Oh, there's another bird. Sorry, two, two birds and one card. And two birds and one card. Wow. It says, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And when I was reading this, he was showing me a picture of you sitting in a cabin out in the middle of the woods somewhere and he said that that's where you guys will or maybe that's what you guys did when he was alive you would go to a cabin and you know have it just be the two of you and enjoy what I'm saying what he's saying is the silence and he wants you to go do that again and he can come through better for you now he's switching gears and saying for his daughter, he's like, I want you to find more confidence in your life. He said, you were always kind of a shy girl. Um, and I heard, what he, I heard him say was meek. Um, but he wants you to find your confidence because he says, you can't have this. He wants you to be assertive. He's like, how he was assertive, he wants you to be assertive. And he says, he wants you to seek your own beauty. Your own definition of beauty. Don't let any, you know, 3D physical reality, you know, supermodels, perfect body, large situations. No. You do you. He's saying that he often says hello from heaven. This is the Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. And, you know, and that's for the wife going out in nature. And this one says, the king of pentacles, or the king of earth, says generosity, professional, responsible, and practical. And he said that's what he, is, he was in life. A success story. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered 
the Midas touch. I mean, it really, this kind of goes with what he said about um, somehow talking somebody else to letting him getting, getting into line, in the line sooner to get this card reading done. So I would say, definitely say he has the Midas touch. And he wants the daughter to, to take that up and be a part of that. Like, he's saying that you inherited that part of me and he wants you to bring it out. He's saying he's getting to do so much learning, but he's a little hesitant because it's like, this is him is what he's telling me. And this is the wife. And she's scared of him going, but he wants to go because he knows that it is higher learning. It's spiritual learning. You know, it's going into heaven. Not that he, he thinks that the wife is trying to stop him. He doesn't want to go and leave her either. But the soulmate cards... kind of sums it up, you know, or maybe we should put it this way, right? You know, this one's got the key to this one's heart, you know, and this one wants to go through the door and the other one's at the door. So there's a lot of wonderful energy here. I love it. You lucky little ducks, or should I say penguins? All right, so... I think he has expressed what he wants to say. And he says he has a lot more to say. He's like, trust me, I have a lot more to say. But he understands that he needs to be respectful of other people's time. So I appreciate you joining me here today. This was a fabulous read. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, know that you, you found this just in time when you're supposed to. And... I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Now, like I said, if you want a reading, because he says he has a lot more he wants to talk about, um, and this resonated with you, look at the comments down, or not the comments, the description bar, and get a hold of me, and we can do a reading for you, if you so choose. He says he loves you, and you already knew that. Hmm. Let's see. All right, so we're going to start on number four. So we are going to clear the energy from the last one. The last read was pretty awesome. <clears throat> I enjoyed it. So choose a new direction. Personal power. Don't back down. The six of pentacles. The seven of swords environmental awareness no place like home or no it says no peace like home or I can't even read the oh it says place apparently I need glasses which I'm already wearing glasses so what does that say all right there's celebrate differences I feel happy I feel healthy and happy the earth is our school that's interesting. There's two um, things about Earth. Environmental awareness and Earth is our school. Beloved one, companionship, surrender your to your passion. Archangel Ariel, strength. Let's see where these are all in. Pretty much in, in the frame here. So let's see what energy wants to come through here. So this this is a uh, a man who is in his mid thirties. He says that he died in a car accident. And he says indeed he was very passionate about the earth and the environment. He says he worked in the environmental field and it was very important to him. He says even as a young child, he was into the earth. He'd hug trees. His parents would take him camping, hiking. His parents were a lot of 
very outdoorsy people and he took that on himself as well. He's pointing me to this one, no place like home. He's saying that you're his home. He, he feels home. He feels at home with you. Um, and he's so sorry that he had to leave. He's saying that his career was just taking off. It was just getting into a really sweet spot. And it was something about adverse weather and a sudden car accident. And in, in a desolate area or like a freeway where, you know, out in the middle of nowhere kind of a thing. And I'm seeing wet, like wetness. And most people don't go through this, you know, this part of it, but he's showing me like the car, it was like hot, good weather. And then it just went into this huge rainstorm and like he couldn't see anything. Okay. So. It says, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. And he wants you to know that he encourages you to eventually at some point move on. But he's also talking to a lot of different people here, a lot of different family members. It's interesting because the last one was like that. And generally they're, they're focused on, um, you know, one or person for their reading generally but this person's like they want to help you you know have a spiritual soulmate relationship and you know there's this companionship so it's like they he doesn't want you to forego a deep companionship because he's gone and he's saying for like a brother or a sister like he was their mentor he was yeah he was their mentor he would you know, counsel them and they call him and they'd have beer together and talk about like, oh, what should I do here? And what should I do there? He was very, um, he was very much an open soul. He was very caring and giving. <laughs> and when I said that, this one came up. He pointed this one out to me. It says the six of pentacles. Like he would freely you know, give of his time, give of his money. He knew what was real in life and he knew it wasn't about this. It was about connections with people. He said he was very much in like celebrating differences and making sure that, you know, all of, all of this, you know, look how much the earth and like this card kind of encompasses his inner world is what he's saying. This is how much he cared and loved the earth. And he celebrated those differences by helping the earth, helping the earth to sustain that. And he said honesty was a huge thing for him. He said, yeah, I told a little couple of white lies, but I just didn't want to hurt people. And he's kind of going back to this one here because we've got this one. It says, surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. He's, it's, he's saying, that was my message in life. That's what I was trying to convey to people. Like, stop living in your head. Start living and, you know, giving and, you know, care about the earth. Because he's like, he was always a happy person. He said, rarely would you ever find him down. He says, I feel very happy, healthy and happy. You know, and then of course this was the, you know, earth is our school. And he's telling me that um, he is actually a teacher into newbies who were coming onto the earth plane. That's interesting. This is the strength card, the Archangel Ariel. Great inner strength, 
release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So I think, you know, too, with since he was such a free and honest and caring and loving and giving person, whomever this is directed towards, he wants you to let go. He wants you to, you know, stop with the judgments, forgive, have compassion. He's very, he's very much a very high energy, positive go-getter. And he's showing me this card again, and he's showing me like the door and the in the the light in the door. He's like he wants you to know that his door is always open for you, always. You call upon him, and he will be there. He's like, yeah, you might not truly believe he's there, but he's like, trust me, I'll be there. He's saying for one of you that. Um, you're going through this hard time where someone's trying to intimidate you. Someone's trying to get you to back down or stand down. It's to stand up for what you believe is right. And it goes into environmental awareness. You know, earth is our school, you know, being loving and open. He's saying in the near future, you're going to have an experience with him that is, will be for you undeniable. He's saying undeniable. He's so proud and happy that you were able to find this reading. And he knows that you've been contemplating about him a lot, thinking about him a lot, thinking about all, because he, he's been really, um, this whole reading has been about his positive attributes, his positive things that he brought into the physical plane and that it's continuing on in the non-physical where he's getting to teach newbies who are going into the earth plane what to expect. And he's like, the reason why I'm telling you all these attributes and these things that I brought in and who I am is because he wants you to cultivate that within yourself with your own expression of it, not a copy of his. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, please leave me a like, share, and subscribe. I love hearing comments about how this resonates with you guys. And um, I look forward to your comments. It always astounds me where I'm like, wow, <laughs> amazing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. You have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.